Next Sunday, thousands will take a step in the right direction. They'll be making great strides in the fight against cystic fibrosis. Here to tell us more, our family ambassadors, Don Zolik and her son, Stanley. Good morning. Thank you for being Good here. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Ms. Stanley, you're 14. You mm -hmm. were diagnosed at birth. Tell us yeah. about cystic fibrosis and the complications. CF is a genetic disease that affects the lungs. And you've had a, it's been a rough couple of weeks for you. Yeah, I've been home with the pick line through my arm. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how are you feeling right now? Good, much better. Better? Yeah. I think we have a picture of you with Lonnie Quinn. Yes. When you were four years old, I think you start, you did your first yeah, PSA. First, PSA. first CBS. Yeah. Or that's not when you were four, that was probably no, a few years later. <laughs> yeah. But we get, the, you, we get the idea. You've been involved with this walk, Dawn, yes. since the very beginning. Mm -hmm. yeah. So tell 14 years. 14 years. What is it about the experience that you want people to know? Well, Great Strides in general has been around for 30 years. We're actually celebrating 30 years of momentum. And this year, our flagship walk takes place next Sunday at the seaport. So we're excited. We're at a new location, which is really exciting. And our team has been walking for 14 years, Stanley City Slickers. And, um, you know, just seeing the walk grow and develop over these years and the passion of the community and fortunately for the cystic fibrosis foundation i honestly don't know where this disease would be today without them you know through providing um, programs like great strides we're able to have these um, amazing groundbreaking research and um you know innovative treatment treatments for my son for Stanley so a few years ago the therapy that he just had at home he would have had to do in the hospital mm. wow so it's you know we've come a long way and we're so grateful but there's a lot of work that still needs to be done and mm -hmm. tell us what life is like I know we have shots of you in a vest and yeah. that's some of the treatment that goes along with cystic fibrosis mm -hmm. so what's really interesting about cystic fibrosis it's a deceiving disease because you look at Stanley and kids like him, it looks cured. I mean, he looks strong, he's healthy, and he is, but the reality with these kids on the inside, their lungs are scarred, there's mucus that builds up that causes these life-threatening lung infections. So just maintaining and dealing with that on a day-to-day -day basis behind the scenes. Um, you know, my husband and I, we vowed since Stanley was born that we would take a proactive approach and really not have this disease fight against us, but we're, you know, we're gonna fight with it and just push ahead and just try to generate as much awareness and get people involved. Involved. What advice do you have if there is a parent watching whose child maybe was just diagnosed? What advice do you have for them? Never give up. Um, you know, keep striving. It's, um, I'm not going to say it gets easier, but it's, you know, through the support from your family and friends that you gain, that alone helps push you through and, you know, anything's possible. And especially with this disease, we're so fortunate. Like I said earlier, with all this, you know, the groundbreaking research that's taking place, we're fortunate where we are in today's age with cystic fibrosis, thanks to the foundation. And your family team has really raised so much money. <laughs> yes, yes, a million dollars. <laughs> Yeah. A million dollars. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh -huh. So who do you have? You have friends and family? Yeah, my friends, my family. They all come, support. And you're going to do it again next yep. weekend. We're going to do it again next weekend. And this year, first year that we've taken the walk a little bit wider and we're a national team, thanks to his best friend Daniel, who expanded the walk out in New Jersey and had a team out there and walked out there. But our flagship walk is here in the city and we're really looking forward to next Sunday and hoping that as many people could come out because it's really, a, it's, it's a feel good mm -hmm. type of morning. Yes. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for yes. being here. Welcome. Thank you and we're so glad much. that you're feeling better. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you. The Manhattan Great Strides Walk again is next Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, rain or shine at Pier 16 at the South Street Seaport. For more information on the walk or Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com.